Back now to your real time forecast, Tim. It's going to be wet and slippery for a while. That's right. A little bit of light snow around here, Jim, into early tomorrow, it looks like, but we can't complain too much. We've only picked up about seven tenths of an inch of snow so far this season. Normally we should have almost four inches, so we're well below average. I'm not complaining about it, but some light snow or flurries on the way for us tonight into early tomorrow. Could see some minor accumulation. By minor, I mean maybe a dusting near the lake shore, especially into northern Indiana. Warming into the 50s by Wednesday, so we really warm up next week. Any snow that uh, lands is going to be melting off very, very quickly, and a pattern change next weekend. Could be looking at some of the coldest air of the season so far. Not brutally cold, but by this winter standards, you're going to feel the difference around here as temperatures drop into the low 30s maybe in about a week from today. Right now, though, we're in the low to mid 30s, 36 degrees at O'Hare, 36 at Midway, 30 in Aurora, a little bit colder up in McHenry, 29 degrees right now. We've got winds that are kind of light and variable, and so the wind chill not a big issue for us. The worst wind chills we're seeing are in the upper 20s, feels like 26 degrees right now in DeKalb. So cloud cover out there right now, getting a few breaks in the clouds, but the Clouds will thicken right back up again. Notice a little bit of light lake effect snow starting to break out here across parts of uh, the Lake Michigan, the central part of the lake, moving down down towards the eastern part of the city here. We've got a little upper level wave sliding southward out of the UP in your Green Bay. That's going to bring in some colder air and turn those winds in off the lake, pick them up a little bit overnight tonight into tomorrow, setting us up for this light lake effect snow, light snow showers and flurries from time to time later on tonight. This is midnight. Look at it right here in the city all the way towards Gary. It continues into the morning hours tomorrow near daybreak near the city into northern Indiana and then it kind of winds down as we get into the afternoon changes over to rain as a matter of fact out over the lake the rest of us might see some peaks of sunshine later on tomorrow in terms of snowfall amounts while well, the GFS model spits out maybe a dusting down near Joliet and Morris and a third of an inch in northern Indiana places like Gary and Valpo but as I animate this out all the way through next weekend could be looking at some more snow that could be sticking around here not a whole lot maybe another couple tenths of an inch so really doesn't look like a big deal in terms of snowfall for the the next several days, but could be a big deal in terms of temperatures dropping next weekend. Tonight's lows get down to the mid to upper 20s, 29 degrees in Joliet, 26 degrees in Aurora, 29 degrees at O'Hare, midway near 30 degrees in the city. Tomorrow's high temperatures near average again, 39 degrees at O'Hare, about 39 degrees at midway, 40 out in Aurora. So your forecast for tonight, clouding back over again, a little bit of light snow, a few flurries overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, a low down to around 29. For your Monday, mainly cloudy skies, maybe some peaks of sun late in the day, but early in the day, light snow or flurries, especially near the lakeshore, a high near 39 degrees. Little or no accumulation expected out of that. Look at this warm up next week. 43 Tuesday, 52 degrees on Wednesday, 50 on Thursday. We stay with highs of 50 or more all the way to, through the end of the week. And then some rain develops later Friday. It could mix with change over to some snow later Saturday. And by Sunday, temperatures falling into the low to mid 30s with some snow showers early in the day. So if you like it warm, enjoy the next couple of days, Joe. Tim, thank you.